Most people tend to think of Rayo's as being a pasta sauce or something they see on the shelves of their supermarket. In fact, it originally started as a restaurant in East Harlem in New York, a small place with very few tables and hard to get a seat. Yeah, it had a reputation as a mob place, but no one these days even knows about that or cares about it. It's just an exclusive restaurant with great food. One time a friend of mine was able to score a table there. It was a night I couldn't make it, and I would have had a three-hour drive home. It just wasn't smart for me to go. And the guys who went loved it. So what can you take away from an experience like that? the marketing and promotion of a restaurant like Rayo's. Number one is exclusivity. How can they become exclusive? Now, it's a limited number of tables. What can you do that makes you unique and hard to get? Number two is excellence. It, they back up the reputation by delivering a phenomenal product in the restaurant. Now, I can't speak about L.A. or Vegas or any other satellite restaurants they have. I'm just talking about the East Harlem uh, restaurant. Small place, limited, limited menu, excellence, exclusive. These are a couple of things that you can work with in terms of how you deliver in your background. How can you create exclusivity? So for example, if you're a consultant, you only work in a specialized area. They're an Italian restaurant. You have your expertise. You only work with a certain client. You do great work for them. You have great references. Now, Rayos has learned to promote themselves, and it starts off by making sure people know that there's a great experience there. What can you do to promote yourself? Now, many people think of self-promotion as being obnoxious. It isn't. It's smart. When you go to the store to buy something, you don't just buy any product. You buy one for which you believe there's a story that makes sense for you, right? Like, the example I always give is detergent. Do you buy detergent based upon the interrelationship of the chemicals? No. You buy a brand or not a brand. You buy a price, a coupon, something. What do you pay a premium for? Because you can be like everyone else and get the same money as everyone else, or you could be a premium brand. Rayo's is a premium brand, and now that they've expanded themselves into stores and supermarkets with sauce and secondary other products. By the way, the Rayo's pasta sauce is phenomenal, and I pay a premium for it. What can you do to make yourself worth a premium for what you do? Part of that is who knows about you? Is it people who with a lot of money or like an everyday kind of person? If you want to be in with everyone, you do what everyone else does. If you want to stand out, you have to do things to make yourself stand out. You don't settle for the ordinary. And I'll go back to Apple here. Apple charges a premium price. They package themselves beautifully. They've created a great story and a great market. You can buy an Android phone and it'll do much the same thing, but you buy an Apple. You buy an iPhone, you buy a Mac, whatever it is you purchase from Apple and you pay a premium for it and you know it works and it's beautiful when you open it up from the box and you get a great experience. What can you do so that people believe you will give them a great experience and stand out from everyone else? I hope you found this helpful. I hope you find it thought-provoking. I'm Jeff Alpin, The Big Game Hunter. Visit my website, thebiggamehunter.us. I've got a lot there that you can watch, listen to, or read that will help you with your job search, with hiring better, management leadership, resolving different workplace issues. In addition, at the site, you can schedule time for a free discovery call, schedule time for coaching, find out about my courses. I'd love to help you. Also, connect with me on LinkedIn at linkedin.com forward slash IN forward slash The Big Game Hunter. 
I forgot to tell you. If you don't want to go to my website now, at least put the address in your phone, thebiggamehunter.us. My name, Jeff Altman, and in the notes field, put Job Search Blog. Have a terrific day. Be great.